Greetings, critical viewers! We are back with more King's Quest V! <coughs> Sorry. This wolf just talks like that. Here, I'll prove it to you. Sir Wolf, I don't know how you expect me to conquer a Yeti. Why, he's got to be at least twice as big as me, and much, much more powerful. What do you expect me to do? That is your problem, not mine. It has been decreed by Queen Isabella, and I must carry out her wishes. Now, no more talking. Go to the Crystal Cave. I think he eats you if you pet, try to pet him. As the huge wolf keeps a sharp eye on Graham, there is little he can do to escape his unfair and dangerous sentence. Ah, let's walk towards him. Uh, 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 uh. You keep away from me, King Graham. Go kill the Yeti. Okay, wait a second. <laughs> we're we're killing the Yeti. Shit. Um. <laughs> okay, you guys are not gonna believe how we kill the Yeti. Oh fuck! Here, okay, let me try the, the obvious solutions first. Get him with the hammer! Nothing to help Graham fight the powerful Yeti. Really? Not the hammer? Uh use the harp! Having learned to play the harp long ago, Graham now plays beautifully. What? <laughs> Shit! It's not doing anything! Ah! Uh, Amulet. What an abominable situation Graham has found himself in. Get it? Abominable? It's really funny. Okay, so I'm gonna save part five. Cause it's part five, right? I don't know. I'm recording all these in one sitting, so I have no idea. Alright. So those are the, you know, things that you might think of to do, right? Well, guess what you actually do? You throw a fucking custard pie at his face. That's some gangsta shit, man. Graham, you are gangsta with that custard pie. You busted a pie in his face. Whoa, okay. Check out the crystal caves. Brilliant crystals flashing and sparkling and reflecting off the numerous waterfalls caused Graham to gaze in awe and wonderment at the dazzling spectacle before him. Man, look at this place. One particularly brilliant crystal catches Graham's attention among all the other glittering crystals in the cave. It sounds like the narrator ran out of breath at the end of that. Take it. What are you doing? As strong Whoa. as he is, even Graham can't break the stubborn crystal with his bare hand. Wait, I want you to do that again. One especially beautiful crystal ca Looked like he was, like, jerking it. Was it just me? I don't know. Do it. Whoa. So very gently, Graham hits the beautiful crystal several times with his hammer until it breaks loose in one piece. He then carefully places it among his other possessions. Yeah, it didn't really look like he was carefully hitting it with, to me, but all right. Let's go. He all right. I think we go back now, because I think we've got proof, see, of the Yeti's demise. We went in and got a crystal. Of course, maybe we just, you know, we're really good friends with them. I don't know. Hey, look at it. That will do nothing to change the wolf's mind. What? Now he's dead. I see that the Yeti is dead. Queen Nicebella will be pleased. Come, follow me. <laughs> It's, I think it's funny how he says Queen Isabella's name as if he knows it's a pun. He's like, Queen Isabella! God. What is with the music here? Come, Graham! We go back to Queen Isabella! My God. Why is the path so treacherous, too? Oh, good. You have returned in victory, I presume. Yes, Your Majesty. The Yeti is dead. He will no longer be a scourge upon your realm. Are my friend and I free to go now? Yes. I keep my promise. I want to thank you for ridding my mountain domain of the horrible Yeti. 
Oh, yeah. Please rise, King Ram. Yes, I know who you are, and I have been informed of your quest. What? By and who? I wish you luck against the wizard Mordek. What? So you knew that and you were gonna kill me anyway? Here go. We wish you well on your difficult journey. Sir Greywolf will show you the way out of the mountain. The same one? Ah. As long as he doesn't talk to me again, I guess we'll be okay. Come, Cedric. Don't even thank me for saving you, your worthless owl butt. Look at him. Look at him just flying along with me. Ah. I just hate him. Oh, Graham. I don't know. Where are we supposed to be going, exactly? Graham's duty's done. The large gray wolf now sits in silence, blocking the passage back to the Ice Queen's palace. Um, wait, where are we supposed to go? I forget. Okay, and a good way to, to tell how, how far along you are is with the score. So we're about halfway through. We're roughly halfway through. Um... Fuck, are you kidding me? Where are we supposed to go? Alright, so... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. All right, so where are we supposed to go? Down? Down? Get it. Get it, Graham. I want you to get it. Oh, shit. Okay, uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Come on, Graham. We got this. How do you expect me to get up there? I don't know, Cedric. I'm beginning to wonder. Shut up! Alright. Let's save. Can we just climb it? Really? How come? I thought we could. Um. The lump of beeswax has become soft and sticky from the warmth of Graham's body. Oh God, why are you talking about the warmth of his body again? Oh my God. What? 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 What is happening? Oh, what the hell is that? Whoa. Where are we? Oh no, back to the nest. Look at all these villages. Who are all these indigenous mountain-dwelling people that we'll never meet? We just totally missed out on all the knowledge they could- Oh, crap, crap, crap. We gotta get this. Quick, what is it? Use a lovely golden locket from the leafy clutches of the rock's nest. Oh, the rock. That's what they are. Um, excuse me. Excuse me? Hello? I would like to use an item now, maybe? Oh, God. Uh, nice birdie. Good birdie. <laughs> uh, Gucci, Gucci, go. Oh, Graham, you're sort of adorable, sort of infuriating. Hang on, I'll get you out of this. Oh, it's the eagle! Yay! They took my cloak! What? Hey, eagle, you rock! <laughs> well, see you later, I guess. Sure you have, never Cedric. It, Cedric, you'd never believe it. Yeah, sure, Cedric's been really blah, blah, blah. God, alright. He's been looking all over for me, huh? What was that? What did I pick up? The heavy iron bar is a bit rusted from being out in the weather. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, um. Hit. Get, go down. I almost called him Cedric. Oh, this! It's a hermit. Hey! Oh my Ray god. On the door, but he finds it bolted from the inside. He can, however, hear activity within. <coughs> Dude, you're nosy, and <laughs> you friggin' went at that door like a boxer. 
Hello? Who are you? And what are you doing on my beach? I'm King Graham of Daventry, and I'm on a journey to find the wizard Mordax Island. But I seem to be stuck. I don't know where to go from here. Hey! What's that you say? <laughs> huh? What? What a rude ass piece of shit! <laughs> Look at that! He just went back inside? Because he couldn't hear me? Oh, wait. Okay, I know what we have to do. We have to, like... He's not going to help us until we can actually... <coughs> until, uh... We make it so he can hear us. So... Let's see. Oh, God. Maybe we can use it! God, Cedric, you're going to get punished for that one, too. Maybe we can use it! Maybe we can use it! Use it! Yeah, we definitely had to save here because this is another section like the uh Come on, Cedric, get desert. The boat. Aye aye, Captain. Oh my god, I don't remember this Look, one. There's a hole in the boat. A hole in the boat? What the f help, help. <laughs> What? Thanks for playing King's Quest 5. Oh my god, we probably gotta patch it up with the honeycomb or something. It's this thing, right? Firmly, Graham wedges the softened piece of beeswax into the small hole in the boat's hull. Hopefully, the wax will hold and make her see- Is that a real thing? I don't think that that's a real thing. Okay, let's save. Like, do- can beeswax actually do that? Because I don't think it can. I'm just saying. Come on, Cedric, get in the boat. Shut up. Aye, aye. I'm sure, he goes along with us in the boat. Whatever, dude. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I honestly don't remember where to go at all. Um, I'm gonna say one, two. Oh god, I think we're gonna get eaten by a sea monster. Maybe. Ah, cause like, King's Quest IV had a sequence like this and I get them mixed up. Oh god. Oh god. Shit! That was a nasty sea creature. Shut it, narrator. I don't need any of your <laughs> sass. Alright, um... Crap, crap, crap. Come on, Cedric. I yeah, I was really good about knowing the desert, but I don't know this one. I think we go down. And then we go across. I think we go down one. Come on. Would you, do you mind? Uh, it's like one more. One more, I think. Yes! Yes! Aha! Shut up. I think we should, Cedric. You, you're okay with this mysterious island, but you won't walk into a bakery with me? Are you kidding? You are the weirdest owl. What? What? Hey! Me neither. Oh no, I remember this part. Shut up, Cedric, I don't give a shit. Okay, so apparently this is successful at wooing any female hostile creature. Do it, Graham! What's he doing? What's that thing? I don't know, but I 
Ah! <laughs> Good job, Graham. Man, that harp was like invaluable. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you could go over there. Shit, we gotta do this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yes, you did. I saw you kill a man off Excuse me. Do you mind? I'm playing music. I'm performing right now. <coughs> I don't know, but I want it. Man, doing that wolf voice earlier really took its toll on my voice. <sighs> Thankfully, I have water. Alright, let's go ahead and save after that debacle. Um, this way. Hi. No, Cedric! I'm so broken up over this! Poor Cedric. Having been seriously wounded by the vicious harpies, he now lies moaning and in pain upon the sandy path. You okay, buddy? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My god, pick him up. Cedric, where are you hurt? <laughs> oh my god, alright. We gotta get going. Come, friend. Get moving. Alright, before we leave, we gotta get this obvious object over here. Graham bends over and picks up the beautifully colored shell. What is it? Oh, yeah, it's a conch. Conch shell. Alright, Graham. Do what your conscience tells you. Ha! Ah, these puns have made me strong! I think that's all we need to get. Crap, I hope that's it. I don't remember. I think that we just need to get the conch. Do you know the way back, Graham, or do I have to navigate again? Oh my god, crap. Okay, I'm gonna save this in part 5A. Or part 5B. There we go. Just to make sure, because I don't remember. I think we have to go up a couple times. I think we have to, okay, we have to go up twice, if I remember correctly. Uh, maybe? Crap. Oh, we did it. It just, it brought us lower. That makes sense. Um, okay, now that we've got the conch shell, come on, Graham, you need to... Move it, Graham! Alright, now that we've got this, we can actually... Graham hasn't been invited into the house. Shut it! Okay, come out. You still here? Please help me. I need your help. I can't hear you. Can't understand a thing you said. Gotta speak up, boy. Now get out of here. Okay. Eh. Here we go. What's this? Now what were you wanting? That's right. Hearing aid. My owl friend is hurt. He was wounded by the harpies. Wounded by the harpies, did you say? Well, if you bring him to me, I'll fix him right up. Good as new. Ooh. That sounds tantalizing. Maybe tantalizing is not the best word for that, but okay. Um... I'd love to, but okay. The hourglass was there. All right, here. Let's let's get him. Cedric, no. Wait a second. Wait, I didn't sign up for this. Go back. Hang on. Is he in my inventory? Where is he? Having found help for Cedric from the old hermit. Graham decides it would be best to sail there rather than risk hurting him further by carrying him. Oh, that's what you want me to do. <laughs> I completely didn't even think about that. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. 
You got this, Graham. Okay, here we go. There we go. Came back, eh? Bring your friend on in here and I'll see if I can heal him up. Great. Here you go. Cedric, you're a lot of trouble. Just so you know. Lay him on the bed there. My god, that beard is long. He told us this should fix the little fella up good as new. That's right. Drink it. Ooh, I'm feeling better already. Tell me, what was in those pool kisses? My employer would be very interested in them. Hey, what was that? I said, what was in those pool kisses? My employer would be interested in them. <laughs> Gifts from the sea, lad. Gifts from the sea. Ain't nothing special. You just gotta know how to use them. I don't think he'd find them particularly interesting. That's right. Now, son, what was it you were trying to tell me before? I was trying to find out where the wizard Mordax Island is. He kidnapped hey, my Hey, Graham is ripped. There. I must get to them before it's too late. Well, I'm right sorry to hear about that. He's a nasty one, that Mordax. I wouldn't want to tangle with him. I try to talk you out of going there, except I can see you can't leave your poor defenseless family unaided. I can enlist someone who can lead you straight to his island. Follow me outside. Oh, great. First, I gotta raid your place, though. Damn it! That was a creaky-ass door. <laughs> yes, someone come aid me. What? Pearl, this man needs your help. He needs you to lead him to Mordax Island. It's a real emergency. Mordax holding his family Dude. hostage. Pearl can't speak human talk, but she's agreed to help you. Just get on into your boat and follow her. Cedric and I want to thank you for all your help, Mr. Uh... Don't worry about who I am. You just get on over to that there island and take care of your family. Aye, aye, sir. We're off. Come on, Cedric. Yes, come, Cedric. You were just relieved from Bedlam, and now you shall follow me into the depths of the wild. Oh, God. Okay, we don't have to do anything. <coughs> That's a long ass mermaid. Look, she's like the length of the boat almost. Gah. Okay, I'm just saying, that guy has access to mermaids. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, shit. Man, I just gotta say, the background art in this game is awesome. Get up! Get up, Graham! Are you hurt again? Are you alright, Cedric? Well, let me see. Oh, I'm fine, Graham. Just a bit ruffled is all. <laughs> alright. Well, this is a good place to stop. Let's save here. Let's save... Part 5C. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it. I will see you guys later for more King's Quest V. Think critically.